everybody how y'all doing today in YouTube land today it's Christmas Eve 2018 and on this day I got a day off work and I get to come down here by the river the Ansung River and go do some hiking a little camping actually I'm gonna come here and relax for a few hours but while I do all that I'm taking this time to answer some questions that have been posted about this video I or about this black <laughs> backpack I bought a year ago this is the Eberly Stock Half Track. It is made by, of course, by Eberly Stock. And their backpacks are targeted towards like hunters and military people. So anyway, I bought the original version of this 2013, 2017. I bought their updated version, which I'll go into some details here. And so I'm gonna give you a one year update on how it performed, the new update version performed. Try to answer some questions that people have had about it and show how I use it in case you have some uh, ideas or questions or whatever you'd like with this so let's jump in this okay so um first i'm recording with my iphone camera at the moment and the reason i'm doing that because i want to show you some of the features that this thing can and will do before i set up the tripod because you're going to find out as you can if you can't see already see how this backpack tends to be long it makes a really good backpack if you're into archery fishing photography so let's do that all right first I got a tripod in here. This is what holds my, uh, when I make my videos, this is the tripod I use. It will fit into here, although it's a little tight if you notice how the lid was there. I can put it in the side pocket here. Works great, okay? And of course you cinch it down, it'll be just fine. Also, what I use this for, now, see this? I did a video review of this a year ago. This is like the uh, Eberly Stock Multipack. And what I use it to carry a lot of my camera equipment and accessories. In fact, the camera that's going to record the rest of this video is in here. While the quality had some issues, the design works great. And what I can do with this, I can connect the, the, this to these and carry it on the front of the pack. So I have a little pouch right in front of me to access my camera gear. Works great. Okay, now let's go ahead. Get this tripod and camera set up and continue with the rest of this video. Stand by. Okay, we're set up. So let's get this started. All right, so here's the deal. I'm actually coming out to a campsite I go to sometimes. So I brought some camping equipment with me to get this started. Or, you know, for today's little uh, excursion. And test out some other stuff. For today's camping trip, I brought a Nintendo Switch because this thing is really awesome and addictive. They made this too convenient to use medical kit the British Basha uh, tarp this is like a eight foot by six foot tarp I picked up a few years ago it's actually the second one I bought really love this piece of equipment and if you look this is the desert camo it actually mixes well with this environment here I need to do a video on this later but ironically this makes a decent uh, winter camouflage pattern here along the river and stuff because we have dead vegetation which is mixed with anyway my German kit mat video uh, mat which I've used in many videos before and talked about in a lot and some knives I need to uh, tinker with today got a camellia's titanium I bought almost two years ago so I'm still testing it using it paid like nine dollars and forty cents or ten dollars and six cents after taxes in Kentucky sog knife uh, got this last year what is it it's got the little flashlight on it if you can see that so that's kind of like how I'm using it right now for this hiking trip and actually a lot of my trips oh yeah of course clean canteen 40 ounce water bottle right here that's the main compartment on the top this is where I keep my fire starting equipment. So I got some fire starting equipment, paracord, like some cordage to set up the tarp and everything. Flashlight, because I like to be always be ready as much as possible in case you know something happens while I'm out here. And I have to spend the night. Put all that stuff back in here. Alright, 
another use for this. Now, for people in the military and those who are like, say, back in the States and, you know, you're a gun enthusiast, let's talk about some other, like, military application for this. Alright, despite what some people have said, and I've had comments on other backpacks about, like, when I had the fact track, saying, like, hey, you know, this is not designed to hold a canteen, it's designed to hold a rifle. No, it's not. It really is designed to hold, and it's not designed to hold a rifle. Here's the deal. If you know Eberly stock, they have a wide range of backpacks, and a lot of their backpacks have scabbards built in. And if they don't have a scabbard, they have accessories that will allow you for like, I think 50 bucks, I'll go ahead and link it here and stuff, that you can attach to hold your rifle to. However, you can adapt this pack to hold like a carbine. So, I'm in the Army Reserve, and when we go to the range and stuff, and if I got a picture, I'll even put it up here, where I took my carbine, shrunk it down as possible, cinched it down, and it actually worked pretty good for administrative purposes. And when I say administrative carry or administrative purposes, like you're going from, say, your vehicle to the range, it works great. You're going from one range to the other like we did. We had to, we would walk around to different ranges and stuff. You put it here, it's great. Would I want to go hiking? Would I want to go on, say, a patrol, even an exercise up and down mountains that way? Nah. This isn't going to be secure enough for that. If we're just casually carrying somewhere, it's great. Um, and that's why I actually got this here. Just in case as a backup. I haven't used this yet, but I decided I'd tinker with the idea of putting some paracord on. With a, you know, what is this, a lock keeper, so they call it. And running the rifle up here and see if I can get that little extra security. We have an exercise coming up next month, so I might be able to put that to use. Alright. So that's like some uses I've used for it. And like I said, I use this for exercise. So another thing I'll do, now I gotta open this back up again, is I'll put like my helmet in here, I'll put some MREs in here, whatever we got. And it actually works great. You know, you got this shelf here that you can deploy, keep your gear shut separated, which I sometimes use. Um, it has been very good for that. And I like to use it, this also, to put like my uh, three liter water bladder in the reserves just like active duty and you'll find this in the Marines so you know you get issued those Camelback brand or something similar um, water batters they're three liters and they have like little you can like wear it as a backpack all right so what I'll do is I'll, I don't have one with me because I'm in the field so sorry but I'll fill it up for about two liters of water and put it in the side pocket here it won't fit with three liters three liters is um, too much it's too bulky but if you just had a regular three liter bladder with no uh, backpack, no attachments or anything, yeah, you might be able to get that in here. That's a different story. In fact, just to show you, clarify what I'm talking about, I'll, I'll show you this video or this picture right here of it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And actually, I take it back. I don't even put it here. I put it on this side because this is my, this is my shooting side. So I usually connect it over here so it's not in, in the way. Okay. Uh, like I alluded to in the beginning of the video, if you're into archery and you have like a takedown bow, this thing is great. You can put the risers in the pockets here. You can take the handles, put them here. I've carried two bows doing that way, along with all the target and accessories and stuff in the main pocket. Along with that, my quiver, again, let's call it administrative carry. I could put my quiver in the old one now, even though it had the hole in the bottom here. I could put it in here with the arrows and I would hook it on here to keep it in place. Worked great. Well, now that I got this sewn off at the bottom, I don't even have to do that anymore. I can just shove it in there and go. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's like some uses. That's how some ways I've been using it. And I got this uh, little leader's pouch here that I keep some extra like, um, you know, pencil and stuff. I got a cord to a battery charger here, all that stuff. Now, let's talk about the pros of the new update design and any cons. So for those who are not fit, Eberly stock, I guess you could say an attempt to update the design. Because you know, it's marketing, right? You want to update from time to time, keep people interested and improve your product. They went to this 10 millimeter instead of the traditional 25 millimeter right here, one inch to this 10 meter uh, webbing inside the pack in an attempt to lower the weight. Uh, honestly, if you go by the statistics Eberly Stock put out, they both, the old pack and this update, they weigh the same, 5.8 pounds. 
or about that. Uh, what this does though, it still works as the old one, but you're gonna have more play. In fact, let me show you that here. Okay, so here it is. Got this little pouch here set up. Now, it works, okay? I mean, this works just fine. It holds it there. But if you notice, see that? I got play, okay? It's strong, it's not breaking the backpack or anything. But you're gonna get a little play there. Just keep that in mind. If you're looking for something that's really secure, and you want no movement, no shaking, maybe because you feel uh, being secure, or maybe because it's going to make too much noise, like say you're hunting or something, uh, then you may not like this. But I wanted to demonstrate that so you know, hey, what can this do? Okay, so let's zip that back up. So that's one pro slash con, depending on your point of view. Another one is, the old half track used to have these aluminum stays that would go here. And what you could do with the aluminum stays, you would bend them to fit the contour of your back to really maximize that comfort level and customization. Honestly, it worked, but it was a pain in the butt. I mean, you literally had to have a buddy, like, kind of like press it against your back and make some adjustments. It was kind of hard to do by yourself if you really wanted to sink it down. So I didn't really play with that much. And I guess a lot of people maybe not cared about it because Eberly Stock went to a gossamer frame. And the gossamer frame is like a black piece of plastic. You can find it on the web page. That, let me dig it out of here. That's Velcroed in place behind here. It's not the easiest thing to access, by the way. Maybe you can see it on the camera. It's right there. Might be hard to see on camera, but it's a black, it's just a black frame. Polycarbonate, I think it is, or gossamer. Something like that. And I gotta say, it works. Uh, I cannot say, uh, I've only, you know, because I got this a year ago, I can't tell you how much stress it can hold. But the 20, 25 pounds where I've carried this lot, it's worked fine. I can't tell you any significant difference between it and the old uh, aluminum frame. Aluminum stays, I should say. So if you have any knowledge that you'd like to share, please post it on this video. Also, there was a question about the, old, the new backpack removed the uh, piece of nylon that used to go here. So you had this nylon that would cover it and act as like a rain protection here. Along with here, you notice that's all gone. You believe stock has removed that. And I gotta say, you know, uh, the pro of it is you don't have to worry about this. Zipper's getting caught up in here, but yet you are sacrificing some protection. So you're really gonna have to rely more on the included rain cover that comes with it. it. Comes with a rain cover, by the way, which is a nice thing. And you're gonna have to use it for that. Oh, my cup fell out. Let's put that back in. All right, so that's pretty much how it's been working for me. Now, something you don't see here, and what I've done, because this thing is really is comfortable, especially the back support. That lumbar support, along with being able to adjust the height, makes a great um, comfortable sim. But these straps have their limitations. About two years ago, well, let's see, that was 2016. Yeah, we're talking over two years ago. I did the 9-11 Ruck March. Me and some buddies in our reserve unit, we did these, it was literally 9.11 miles. And just let me say, well, at the end of that, my back felt great. It was fine. No problem. I had 48 pounds in this because I wanted to test what this could do. But my shoulder was killing me, especially this left shoulder. I literally couldn't move my arm. I was like moving it like this. It was just, you know, had some damage to it. <laughs> yeah, it was temporary, uh, I don't know what you call it, nerve damage, paralysis, whatever you want to call it. I literally was like moving my arm like Ugh, this. Because it was just, you know, it was over much. It was too much weight for this. So what I did was... I upgraded, and you can get these from eBay Stock's webpage. These really thick pads. It's like out to here and here. Later, I'll try to get you a video or some footage in here of it. Along with a hip belt, because I really want to maximize that coverage, because I want to test how much weight this can truly handle if you're to adjust the padding and stuff. So uh, for that, 
that's my use for right now. For those who I would say just for those now who are curious, you may have noticed this is a long backpack, relatively narrow, okay? If you were to use like a USGI backpack, like you see the soldiers on Camp Humphreys issue, and you know, Marines for that matter, something like that, you know, those are like out to here. They're really huge. This is only like roughly with these pockets, 50 liters versus that 7,000, what was it, like 120 liters with all the pockets and everything added to the USGI versions. Keep that in mind. A lot of guys buy this and they're looking to like, man, I can use, like, put my, you know, my military sleep system in here. I can do this. I can do it. Nah. This pack is designed for a limited function. You know, Eberly Stock, they like to make shooting backpacks because Eberly, Glenn Eberly, he's a, a shooting enthusiast. They like, you put a scope in here, right? You can put a stand in here, like you saw with my tripod. You can do stuff like that. If you're going to go with um, sleeping pads, I'm sorry, not sleeping pads, but sleeping bags, you got to do one of two options. Option one, let's just say you got your favorite sleeping bag. You might have to turn it this way and it's going to eat up a lot of that space. Or B, you go to Eberly Stock route. And the Eberly stock route is to get you these Gucci gear, like this, this is Gucci gear, but backpack, like they have these uh, sleeping bags, I think it's called the Reveille. Fits this small. Fits right in there. It only costs you a couple hundred bucks though. You know, it's the price of this, if not more. So, yeah, that's what you're gonna, your options are. Get yourself something small enough to turn this way and eat up the inside of your pack. If you're trying to, like, especially for winter, or get one of Eberly stock's Gucci packs, or Gucci bags. That'll fit right there, but it'll cost you eh, price of this and most people are not going to go for that option I think another question was somebody wanted to know if this is thinner right here than the old pack now these flaps for my Usage and from what I can tell um, This is a uh, just as thick as the old pack and I should mention something that brings up my mind now recently I was at US Patriot inside the uh, new PX area they have a new bunch of half tracks. And those half tracks even have a new update to them. According to Evening Socks website, what I saw at the US Patriot store, notice how mine is a solid stitch of nylon here. This is supposed to be 1,000 denier. Well, the new half tracks are 500 denier with ripstop nylon. Ripstop nylon, which this is not, so I can't show you, has a crisscross pattern. It's like a grid pattern, okay? And literally, it's designed to stop a rip. So Eberly Stock, with the absolute latest updates, I would say, have even updated beyond this with a lighter material and using ripstop nylon. Sorry if I'm rambling, but oh well, it is what it is. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered your questions. I'm going to go enjoy some camping time out here. You all have a great Christmas. And if you've got any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Have a great day. Out.